This year marks the 100th anniversary of the creation of that favorite newspaper diversion, the crossword puzzle. It was 1913 when the New York World first published a word cross. It became the puzzle we all know and love. The Fold's Lee Powell gets some clues from one of the genre's masters, Merle Regal. I mean, I thought I invented crosswords when I was six. Just because this crossword constructor does his talking across and down, do not think Merle Regal is shy, stepping from behind the page. They want to solve a puzzle in the morning with coffee, get their brain kick-started. Working in a world of black and white, of boxes, numbers, and clues, the 63-year-old plays with words. If it's too, you're tuned in all the time, you know, um, I keep, do I have one with me? Yeah, one of these. Like. Scarecrow is an unusual word. Something that scares crows normally would be a crow scarer. Rearranging letters of even producer man. No T's, no R's, no A's, N's. He's got nothing to work with, so. But still, elope. His first five letters, L-E-E-P-O. That's elope, scrambled up. And well is left. So we'll just do apostrophe, we'll elope. Regal made his first puzzle at six, first published at 16, now syndicated across the country, including the Washington Post Sunday Magazine. As for that perfect crossword. Well, first the theme. Uh, the theme should be something interesting or lively. The puzzle should be f full of interesting, colorful, contemporary language as much as possible. Uh, interesting words, gas guzzler, uh, nanny cam, but you want really interesting nougaty uh, words in the puzzle. The clues should be to the point, uh, sometimes funny, uh, a real mix. I always say it's like solving Jeopardy on a page. But for the partner of the puzzle master... I, I have never gotten particularly into crossword puzzles. Leaving those quips and jokes for you, dear puzzle worker. You look at a puzzle that's called um, um, Signs of Destruction. You don't know what that means yet until you start solving it. And now you, see the, now you see what the connection is. Now you know what that is. Now all these little, as I say, bombs are going to go off, you know, where the jokes are going to go off. So it's, a, it's an entertainment thing. It's a really fun thing. It's a brain-stimulating, fun thing to do. As Lee mentioned, and welcome to the fold, Lee, uh, Merle's crosswords show up in the Post Sunday magazine. Uh, that's it for us. We will see you again on Monday. Until then, stay cool.